African presence has been recorded all over the world. It has also been unearthed from the most remote ages of the Japanese past. The oldest Stone Age hut has been found in Japan. Archaeologists date this back to 22,000 years ago. Many archaeologists agree that these huts resemble dugouts of African bushmen. A Japanese scientist revealed his hypotheses that mankind started off as black, blacks gave birth to white, and then the interbreeding of the two created the yellow race. The people who populate Japan today are the descendants of blacks. The very first population of Japan was black. Of all the black faces found in Japan, one of the most picturesque was that of Sakanuye Tamuramaro. Sakanuye was a warrior, a famous general, and the leader of the Japanese army. Sakanuye was the first shogun of Japan. An old Japanese proverb actually states, for a samurai to be brave, he must have a bit of black blood. Sakanuye was an African warrior that was brought to Japan as a child. Throughout his career, Sakanuye was rewarded many times for his service. Samurais that followed based their discipline on him. The Asians had a lot of respect for Sakanuye. He fought for them, with them, and helped them to win the great victory. The Asians believe a man should be regarded as a man, irrespective to his race or his color. Yasuki was another African samurai. Yasuki was brought to Japan in 1579 and he gained the interest of many different Japanese noblemen. He's believed to be born between 1555 and 1566. They believe that he was either from Mozambique or Ethiopia. Upon his arrival, he gained a lot of attention. Naburaga is the Japanese daimyo who appointed him to become samurai. Initially, Naburaga did not believe that he was black. Upon their first meeting, he made him remove his shirt so that he can rub his skin to ensure that this was not ink. Naburaga was extremely impressed by his height. Yasuki stood over six feet tall in an era where most Japanese men stood at only 5'2 to 5'5. Naburaga ended up making Yasuki his personal bodyguard. He was also allowed to dine with Naburaga, which was an unusual privilege. 